so this is Surviving the Aftermath. Um, made by... So Surviving the Aftermath made by Paradox um, Interactive. If you know Paradox, um, they do a whole bunch of uh, survival strategy games. Um, so things such as, like, they do all the survival series. Um, they also, I believe, did, uh, no, not Plague Inc., but they did something similar to those. Basically, the whole point of this game is that we are trying to build a colony after the apocalypse has happened on the Earth. Um, so we have to make sure that we build a settlement that's appropriate to be able to house people, try to make a working civilization again. Uh, whilst dealing with natural disasters, um, radiation, things of that nature as well. So. Double check that I was actually off mute and then I'm like, yeah, I can see that I'm talking. Good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, privacy poly's fine. Alright. So we'll do a new game. <laughs> you always think I'm muted though, no? How are you? Thank you again, by the way, for the uh the subs on Friday night. Alright, so this is the prologue, so this is the history. So, modern civilization is gone. It fell apart in a time when rivaling superpowers fought over power and ideology. To focus on themselves, no one noticed what was coming until it was too late. Skies rained down fire as thousands of comets and massive objects plummeled the inner solar system. On Earth, cities were leveled and replaced by vast wastelands. As nations vanished, the remaining factions waged decade-long wars over scraps until there were no armies left to command. Now we are all that remains, looking for a new home, looking for a way to start over in this age we call the Aftermath. Oh, how is Star Citizen? Um, we'll still have tutorials on because I'm still learning the game. Um, we'll do medium. So, medium challenging but fair, perilous road ahead. AKA very, very normal. Um, catastrophes, we'll do common, um, barren and fertile. <laughs> it is not. Um, average starting resources with some survivors. Yeah, how pornographic, because we basically almost had, like, gay sex twice on stream earlier. Um, what ideology do we want to have? Do we want to focus on survival and efficiency, large-scale production, or health and safety? I reckon health and safety is probably the big thing. That's just my ideology, is to take care of people. Um, but survival skills would obviously be really good. <laughs> fuck health and safety. <laughs> oh, fuck me then. Let's go production. Okay, we have the three individuals in chat. You have me, that's that's definitely more like healing and caring. We have a person that wants survival and eat the eat the poor. And then we have large scale production. <laughs> exactly. What can go wrong this time? We can do it more efficiently. Now I, I focus on health and safety. Um So we have a whole bunch of different main specialists. So we can have two specialists. Um, you'll see their name, but you'll also see what they're really good at. <laughs> they can't revolt if they're eaten. Sire, ah, sire, the peasants are revolting. Yes, I know they're disgusting, but they're also attacking. Um, so, you have scavengers, uh, which are... Very, very good at obviously searching for stuff, so we can try and send them out to scavenge and search for other equipments and stuff that we'll need. Fighters, obviously good for defending yourself. Scientists are good for tech tree breakthroughs. Um, scouts are good at finding new areas, so you can expand your base out and find more things for you to find. Uh, they're pretty much the main ones. Um... Since we are going down a health and safety route, uh, definitely we need a scientist, because that's going to help, uh, but we also do want a scavenger. 
Um, I like Stiller and Nadia. No. Uh, we are going to go classic purple. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. They hot though. Yes, they are. Uh, no, don't want to go back to the main me. I'll, I'll go back to them. I'm gonna shout for like yes, I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, we need to do trickle down economics. That's where I come in, isn't it? Uh, randomized name. Good luck, have fun. Okay, fuck off. That's not gonna be our motto. Well, better tomorrow's a pretty good one. Haven for all's good. Never conquered, always feared. Cats won't go quietly into the night. Uh, rebuild and prosper, I like the sound of. <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, Meridian's actually a really great name. Rip and tear. <laughs> I like the idea of Meridian. It's a good name. <laughs> Cats won't go quietly into night, something that'll be pinch. I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have? Evil and Prosper. Endure and Overcome, actually. I actually prefer Endure and Overcome. We'll do that. Um, sweet. Yeah, no reason at all. Oh, sorry, I should have done that. Next time. So, it won't be the only time that I probably do this. There'll be other, like, games like this that I'll be doing where I can probably poll the way that we want to play it. Alrighty. Well, this is going to be base camp. So we have a settler. Um, so we start a new comment by unpacking and building the campsite. The campsite can be selected from the build menu. It has small resources and water storage. First colonists can be invited by sending a flare from here. Basic col colony, ah, colony map scouting. Uh, we don't want to put it too close to this, because this is where the gate is. <laughs> Kill them all, my god, sort them out. Uh, so, let's build here. Alright, so, uh, do, 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 do. so people are waiting for a flare. So Our there are survivors. survivors waiting for Here a we go. signal from the settler. They are cold and hungry, yet willing to work. Should the colony take care of them in return, they can be invited in right away or later, in case the settlement needs more time to prepare. Uh, we'll continue to prepare for a little bit. Um, so we're going to have one campsite. We have the gate and the scout tower. So the gate gives you access to the overworld to be able to um, find resources and that. Um, we do need things like tents um, and emergency shelters. So tents are good because they provide three resources and give you a slightly better... Uh, where's my rotate button? Um, and give you slightly better amenities uh, for the people that live there. I'm going to build two of them because we get two for free. Uh, the other thing that we'll need is food and water. Uh, let me adjust the size here a little bit. There we go. Set over. Kind of important so you can see the health of the population. That, there we go. Should be here, yeah, slightly bigger. There we go. Good. Um... Yeah, then we can do an emergency shelter, so minor happiness penalty, decreased birth rate as well, because basically it's a communal tent. Um, very hard to have childbirth with that. Um, food storage and a stockpile we get for free, so we want to start building that, because uh, the stockpile is where all of our resources are going to sit. 
Uh, we don't want it too close to camp, though. We want some room to stockpile stuff. Put it there. Uh, food storage, which is where we're going to be putting all of our food resources, can be next to the stockpile. Um, and we have a water collector, which is... Uh, we need, obviously, to constantly build water access. Uh, there's water there. Okay. So, water collector is going to be fair way out, but it's going to be 100% efficiency. Um, is there anywhere closer? Hmm, is that closer? Uh, we do have radiation piles next to us. Oh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I'd say this part over here, whilst it's annoying, it's still beneficial for us to do have it here. Okay. Um, that's all the free buildings that we can get. Uh, we have to build other buildings, so, uh, recyclers are good, obviously, because you can recycle, uh, plastics or cloth. Uh, lumber yards for more wood. Medical tents are important for when people get sick. Burial pit for when people die. Uh, an outhouse for basic hygiene. Um, dirt roads and stuff are good. Um, warehouse if we want to build a bigger stuff. Uh, fishing pier so we can have food production. Um, and then there's other water stuff that we can do as well. So water wells are good if you can... Um, if you have fertile tiles, so you can see exactly how fertile it is, and therefore the efficiency. So we can probably build a water well here if we need to for an emergency. Because uh, that gives us 10 water production. That's not actually not bad. Uh, and it's away from radiation as well, which is good. So these things here are radiation, uh, or pollution deposits, which are really bad. Because obviously people get sick if they're close to it. Can you build baby factories for your slave army? Well... You say that, uh, you children do work. Uh, you can have children as, I think it's as young as six, basically working, uh, to help the colony. Because again, it's kind of like, hey, it's the apocalypse, we kind of need people to, like, do stuff. Survivors waiting for a signal from the settler. They are cold and hungry. Alright. Let us bring the colony alive. Your first colonists have arrived. Prompted by the signal flare, the rest of the group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild. Nope, game does not. Turn this hostile place into a home. It really does not actually. Um Okay, so we need five more, five colonists are sh uh, homeless, so we are going to build... Uh, okay, well, uh, down there is being bombarded by comets. Uh, wow, we are on the edge of that. That is actually really terrible. Um, we're going to build an emergency shelter. Because we kind of need to, because, like, we need to house them. <laughs> yeah. This game is, um... This game is interesting. Okay. So, work area. I can activate the work area to move so I can collect wood. So we're going to be doing that, so we can collect all the wood in this area. Uh, and for this, which is the food, I am going to move the work area up here to collect these berries. That will give us some food and some water. So we have three water being produced on average. So at the top, obviously, is all the, the information, such as happiness, uh, how many colonists that we have, how many of them are working, the food resource, the water resource, the electricity... Um, how much supplies we have as well. Um, we might need to look at building roads as well soon, because surprisingly enough, roads are really strong in this game, because your colonists will move twice as fast on roads. Um, mainly it's good for around camp areas and things like this, obviously. 
Um, Alright, so we don't have anyone that's homeless, which is good. Uh, task is to select a colonist. Alright, so this is Nadia. She's one of our specialists. She's our scavenger. Um, we also have at the top, uh, if I can remember how we can get there. <laughs> exactly. We've got to make sure that the kids can keep up with the adults somehow. Um, we are going to... I'm going to wait for this wood area to be uh, fixed. Uh, well, once we finish that, because then I'm going to expand into this area here with uh, medical tents. Because um, we will need medical tents, because we do have pollution very close to the camp. Uh, that's where the plastic is. Uh, that's not too bad. And we do have wildlife around, so we can put some trapper areas as well. Oh, we got a big plastic pile there. That's actually not too bad, because I can put the plastic ones here. I can get rid of the tree, that's fine. Um... Uh, that's medium. That's annoying. I'm just scouting the area to see what resources we have around. So, obviously wood, plastics, metal, um, cement. Uh, the main ones we only have is wood and plastics at the moment. And obviously berries is a very, very small food range. We need more water. Um, so let's build that well. Because that was going to help us. That gives us 11. Can we get more? 94, 95, 96, 97. So if we build it, oh, that's going to be tainted by the pollution. We don't want to build it where pollution is. Um, but this is fine. I'm going to knock a tree down to build it. But that is going to be helpful because we'll start clearing this out with a lumber mill uh, in a little bit, but we don't need it at the moment. <clears throat> Ethan the child is cutting down wood. Yep. Welcome to the game. Using resources. Resources are the ingredients for everything in your colony. They can be used to construct buildings or refined into more advanced products. Uh, yep, that's fine. So that's resources at the top. <laughs> I mean, fair. Um, so we have storage in the campsite, which uh, is fine for the moment. When we go through natural disasters, we'll need to start building a warehouse. Um, so we have... So that's food, wheat, flour. So what have we got? We've got wood, plastic. Uh, we have 24 fiber, which is used for clothing. We have 10 clothing at the moment. We have 10 basic tools. We have 22 other forms of cloth. <laughs> uh, we also have logs we also have like penicillin so here's the other ones we have is we have antibiotics, iodine pills and medicine a stranger has appeared in the colony colonists are taken aback as an unfamiliar face appears in the middle of the colony seemingly out of the blue before the colonists have had time to raise their pitchforks the woman speaks up lower your weapons I am no intruder but just looking for food and shelter we had a small camp to the north of here, but got separated while wanting a ray from one of those space rocks. Is my brother here already by any chance? He can certainly vouch for us. So we can choose to take them in, or we can kick them out. Um, bringing them in will help raise morale, but obviously it means more food and more water resources are required to sustain them. <laughs> no saying kick, of course you are. Yeah, we can pull up. Uh, 
do, 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 do. Where's my pole? Where is my pole? Hang on, give me a few seconds. Uh, there it is. Alright, we'll have a go for three minutes. <laughs> the tug of war. <laughs> so yeah, so obviously keeping them is more food, more water requirements, but also means that it's faster for us to clear areas and to build ship. Um, picking them out obviously means that we're saving food and resources. I think I know what's winning. <laughs> I know people are spending channel points as well for this, which is why I did it. <laughs> About halfway through the poll, I should have made it two minutes. Three minutes is a long time. I mean, if there's no more votes in like the next 30 seconds, I'll probably kill it. Because I think we've got the answer. Yep, not seeing any changes. Got a. Alright, pulling it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Alright. Picking them out. There's no guarantee these people are who they claim to be. Even if their story were true, the colony has no reason to help every pleading group at their doorstep. The outsiders are thrust from the colony and preparations are made to make sure no one will ever sneak up on the base like this again. Okay. Uh, where is the... Alright, so those two wood deposits are depleted, which is nice. Um, do, 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 do. Let us move the work area, because we don't have anything. Oh, there's a little bit left. That's what happens when you have a kid working on this. Oh, it's only got two left. Because uh, the next thing that we do want to do is we do want to build the uh, the gate. Waterwell has completed, which is nice. Uh, we're going to move over here and farm the wood here. Farm the wood is a nomenclature that should not exist. But there it is. Um... Alright, the gate does require 175 plastics, which we don't have. So we do need to start building a plastic facility. Uh, recycling. Alright, so let's build a recycler. And whilst we're at it, let's build... Yeah, so we want the Forester. 
uh, which we can use to cut down the trees. But in order to get the forester, we need uh, the gate. The gate needs to be repaired. Got two lumps of plastic here, which is nice, but that's really annoying that that's there. So people are going to get sick. So if we're going to do this, where is it? There's the medical tent. Uh, we'll build a medical tent here. Yep. The burner is going to be stuff that we'll need as well. Um, in a few months time. Alright, let's get some dirt roads going. Got a wood pile there as well we can use if we need to. Um, water is good at 14. Food is actually not bad. Uh, this we have not explored yet, so we need to build scout towers to explore further out if we need to. We also have this here, which is nice. I don't know if there's any actually way to get rid of pollution. Well, I mean, yet, anyways. This is actually really good. We could build the trapper here. Hmm. Just thinking, actually, yeah, because we have wood here that we can cut down if we need to, and we can spend this way. Because there's not a lot of wood areas. We can try and protect the wood area here. Which I think is probably the smarter costs. We're gonna knock down a bit of the trees, but at least the trapping here is good because of the abundance of the trees here. Even though we have plenty of food. We're gonna have to take on new colonists anyways. Um, because we do want to get more specialists. Yep. I do not have enough resources. I need more shit. Which is fine, that's why we're trying to get the recycling plant working. I need to... There we go. I mean, I'm literally doing that. Uh, where is my plastic? Putting two people on the plastics because we need it. Uh, we can speed it up a little bit. <laughs> I know, I wonder what happened. I wonder, like... What could what what production we could have had if we had more people? Um, one of the reasons also why I put, didn't put this right by the entrance of the gate is that I'm going to once we build the gate, is I'm building some scout towers here. Um, because yeah, we are absolutely going to get raided. Um, so you do need to find ways to protect your colony. Um, uh, yep, so we have all the materials that we need for the trapper, which is good. How much do we need for the gate? Because the gate's the next thing that we do need to do. 175. Ugh. Uh-huh. 
This is Stella. Trap is completed, which is good. Build a road? I've already built a road. What the fuck do you think this stuff is? It's a lot of plastic trash. But production hasn't started. Why do I have a production? Oh good, I don't have a production limit. Um, that wood has been depleted. We've got one last bit of wood, and then where do I want to move it? Down here would be optimal. Uh, where else? There's okay. That would be nice if that didn't exist. I suppose this would actually not be bad either. Like, that's actually kind of good because that's 195 worth of wood there. So we can put it here. Oh, and Sebastian's infected. Awesome. Yeah, get yourself treated. Because of this fucking thing. Can't get rid of it. Yeah, you need an environmental station. We haven't unlocked that yet. Um, because, we, well, mainly because we haven't unlocked anything. So this is the tech tree. Um, so we can upgrade trappers to hunting cabins, basic farming that gives us to be able to grow stuff and not rely just on fishing and hunting. Um, so we have more work slots available for communal eating, which means that we can turn stuff into much bigger ingredients so we can feed more people, advanced farming irrigation um we can start looking at like things like installations we can look at things like so the very very basic stuffs at the moment so this is food resources uh so we can start looking at metal scavenging which would be good infrastructure uh community bunk beds are good so for it um Upgrades the stuff to be like crowded areas so you can scram more people in there, but things like education. Uh, aggression release <laughs> as a form of entertainment, which is basically a fight pit. Not joking, you can build a fight pit in this game. Um, blood sports. Um, and then safety stuff um, as well. So pollution disposal. Um, and hazmat engineering, so that's like really, really good. So that's what we want. Um, because that's an environmental station, but that's like five tiers above where we start. So that's going to be a pain. You're not going to get to this for ages, and that's going to slowly keep infecting everyone. Yay! Fun. On the positive side, nothing seems to be contaminated yet. Uh, we might need to build an outhouse though. And that's what I'm thinking, where do I want to put that? Uh, the wood has been depleted. Alright, so this has got nothing to do. Uh, there's wood there. Uh, it's close by, we can grab this one and then move down here and collect that wood. I suppose next. Um, overall happiness is bad. Three are tired, one is infected, eleven have poor shelter. Like, there's not much I can do in regards to that at the moment. Hey, Sebastian's been healed. Nice. Um. Ooh, museum's good because that's got science. Ooh, basic tools are nice, uh, but we also need clothing. Right, so we've got a lot of stuff we can scavenge when we get the gate. Um, how much does it cost anything for the burner? 15. 
Uh, we can sacrifice 15. Uh, because this is absolutely something that we'll need to have. Uh, and it is... Uh, that's the best position for it's there. Um, because you do have nuclear winters where, like, things freeze, like, water will freeze up, which means that you cannot get anything from the lakes, so fisheries dry up. Uh, what do we got here? A wary colonist reports grave news. Some of the food rations appear to have gone bad. Somebody had forgotten to shield them properly, allowing rain and bugs to get into the containers. Bickering about whose fault the situation quickly evolves into a different discussion as the hungry colonists begin to argue if they can afford to throw away precious food, even if it's a little past its prime. Throw the food out or keep the food. There's no fucking reason to keep the food. We've got 107. We're producing more than we're eating. We're not doing that. Alright, this one is not going to a poll. We're absolutely not killing our colonists. We want to win the game. We're not going to win it if we infect everyone. Like, there is game overs where you kill all your survivors, and we're not doing that. They'd probably more likely get the superpowers and the exposed pollution and radiation that's literally on the edge of the doorstop. It's how democracy dies. <laughs> But we also made everyone happy. Everyone feels a bit happier now that they didn't have to eat rotten food. See, I'm a good person. I actually did what the community asked me to. you just evil people. I knew that though. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, plenty of wood over here as well. Plenty of plastic. Those two are evil people. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> yes, you voted to leave three people abandoned in the wasteland. I'm not a people. <laughs> okay, fair point. I do. I want to win the game. That's the whole point. <laughs> uh, let's get this thing. It's still asking me to build a road. So I'm going to do the cheapest road I can, which is basically just grab this and just go... Beh. And then... Beh. I'll meet that requirement. Sweet. Speed it up a little bit, because again, I'm just waiting on plastics now. Yeah, hurry up and work on the plastic sorting. Yeah, hey, we've got the burner working, nice. 95, alright, we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, what was that one? What's that looking at? Oh, set production limit. Nah, don't need to. Um, last things. Hey, for settlers. Do I want to set a production limit, though? I really do not want to. I'll get that one off. Unlimited, we're going to cut down all the trees. Like, again, like, that worked out so well for us last time. Oh, the berries looking. 44 out of 68. 44 out of 72. We're going to need another food resource. We might need to build a fishery soon. Um, it's 35 though. Mm. Gate first, fishery second. That is the plan. That wood resource is depleted. We need to move it.
No, children are not food. Nor is mayonnaise an instrument. Uh, we do need to build an outhouse. Uh, where are we gonna put it? Oh, colonist wants to try a new trap. Rabbit season. Three colonists explain they've been working on a new kind of a trap for hunting rabbits, and the group wants to set them outside the camp. Hmm. It's not a fancy place, but I'd rather people not be sick. We have limited things to heal them with. Alright, so we can send some colonists out to try new traps, which will help increase our food. Um, potentially them dying. Um. Oh, it's just not worth the risk. We only have 11 colonists at the moment. We're still low on colonists, surprisingly enough. You guys are horrible. Horrible people. The whole point is to win the game, not kill everyone. Uh, but I do want to try out the trap. There we go. That one worked out well. We got an extra 15 food. Point is to have fun. I have fun when I'm playing the game and not like desperately like trying not to lose because we fucked ourselves. <laughs> that is true. You guys are absolutely having fun in your own way. We need to find a way to increase the happiness as well. We have no way to form entertainment though. We really need that gate. <sighs> We need to start being able to explore. Um, where the heck do I want to put this? Put the bordello. Well, hmm. Um, I think here's actually not a bad location for it. Put it right next to the food tent. That's just cruel. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yep, yep, yep. Repair it, please. That's the problem with them. At least it's a small one. At least it's a small one. Like, this game can go cruel in a heartbeat because of natural phenomenons that occur, which include things such as um, pollution waves, which basically means that the entire world becomes irradiated for, like, two weeks. True, but I kind of, like, all the good resources are there, and I want to be close to the resources. Like, this is probably the limit of where I'm going to build buildings, and then it's going to be more to the right and left. There's not much more I can build. Like, here's probably the next best area to build. Out this way. But there are massive pollution gaps everywhere. Uh, yes, floods. There are lightning storms. There are meteor showers. There are pollution waves. There are snap winters. Uh, the game tries to make it that you will lose. Uh, 40 away. Oh, it's not just bandit rays you have to worry about. There are, are po there are polluted and irradiated creatures that attack as well. They're not fun. They're really not fun. Don't worry, um, the flooding does, they do warn you when the events are about to happen. So, you won't be caught unawares. The game kind of gives you a warning saying that, yes, yeah, something's about to happen. And I'll give trigger warnings for things like that as well. Uh, 
come on. Who's fixing the fucking... Oh, wait. imagine a situation in real life where you would have accountable trauma but then again this is the current age that we live in that it's actually very much a reality that could happen someone is using it so the big thing with those kinds of stuff so this obviously as well with these actually create pollution in the area which increases the chance of people getting sick uh, opals are radiated. Good. Fucking brilliant. Ow. No, fair enough. Get yourself fucking fixed up. Need to repair the goddamn tent as well. No, I have not, to be honest. Oh, there's a medal there. Sweet. I love that we have an outhouse, but no way to wash our hands, so that's really not actually doing anything. That's barren. We're not going to be able to build there. Actually, that's actually not a bad place. Again, like I do want to expand out this way, but I did build the outhouse there, which is really dumb. Probably should have built it over here. I can always knock it down and build it over here if I need to. Yes, everyone needs a shower. Fix Opal for God's sakes. But she's getting treated. That is almost out, which now begs the question where the fuck are we going to get the wood next? Hey, right, Opal's back to full health. Good. Slightly faster. Yep, so wood's depleted. Um, yeah, we can go up there for more wood. Actually, we can get these two here. Bit of a trek, but it's still good for us. Alright, we are nine away from getting the gate. We have the gate. Now, this needs to be priority. Gate, very important. Gate gives us overworld exploration. Yep. Um, t t t let me think. Since people are complaining that we need more. There we go. It's these ones saying that they need more outhouses because that's what basically that means. Because it's it's also like a shower facility as well. I'm trying to think what my favourite TV show is. I mean, I would say it's actually Legends of Vox Machina. When, by the way, when the fuck is season 3 coming out on that show? 
Season 1 and 2 came out in January. It's now nearly the end of February and we still haven't got Season 3. Pissed. It's not been cancelled. I don't know, no one tells us. Season they they finished production of season three, but they haven't released it yet. I think because they're also working on the Mighty Nine. Come on, come on. By the way, I've fallen behind in um, Campaign 3 with the Hell's Bells. Just haven't had time to watch it recently. I've watched all the um, Candela Obscura stuff. That's actually really good. Alright, the gate's almost completion. Congratulations! Built the gate and gained access to the world map. The gate is now open, and the vast world stands ready for your specialists to explore. <laughs> this progress has not gone unnoticed, though. Soon, your colony will begin attracting various folks. Some good, others desperate, some tricksters, and those who just want to see you destroyed. Arm the gate with colonists, or keep some specialists close by to defend yourself from the inevitable raids. We've reached a milestone. So now we're gonna get raids. Fun. Oh, it absolutely can be like How that. Can Sometimes There's they they are generally, escape. especially like the the early. In uh, campaign one, they were very, very bad with that. Um, in Mighty Nine, they got a lot better with not talking over a lot of people. Um, clothing's actually really important for us, so we do want to do that. Yep. Sure thing. So we're gonna send our specialists, both of our specialists, out. Um, oh, hello. A ragged bunch shuffle slowly towards the gate. Wish I had been a farmer. I hear they're treated like prophets now. I would like to help if you choose to accept us. So, survivors, all right, we have eight people, six adults, two children. Uh, we do get a specialist and another scientist, uh, who's also a good attacker. Uh, we have Porter. He suffered a high dose of radiation not long after the first nuclear fallout hit his hometown. He survived, but the event left a permanent mark, both physically and mentally. Now it's his life mission to protect others from going through the same. Uh, they are bringing a ton of supplies, though, which is nice. So 55 plastic, 4 basic tools, 9... Uh, ooh, that's nice. That's rice, 49 wood, 3 medicine, 115 money. No, we need people to help start building the colony. Like, we, we're, our production is very fucking slow. We need people to start building the colony out. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. The game is saying, you kind of need to start doing this. Like, you, you do need people. Like, the whole point is to build a, a city. Uh, we're accepting. Never stop being a bastard. Um, we have decorations now that we can get because uh, they're a scientist. Um, <laughs> uh, let's build some tents. And we'll build an emergency shelter, a second emergency shelter. Okay. 
That way we can uh, house people. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just the tombstone that said stopped, stopped via death. There's a new quest available. Lately, an increasing number of cars have been spotted in the distance, not too far from the colony. There seems to be some kind of a new settlement close by. Hmm. We could follow the vehicles to see who's there. They could be friendly or dangerous. Uh, -huh. uh Meredith, I need you to start right doing that. It's very important. Uh, I can't traverse oh. over there, can I? No, so we'll keep that for now because we, yeah, we need to scout to scout this area. Good to know that we have uh, some form of sea or ocean. It's probably a lake there. Okay. Alright, gotta build the tents and stuff. Useful. Got plenty of plastics. Ooh, uh, there's woodwork being happening there. Um, we're running low on water. We need to get more water reserves going. That will absolutely help. Food seems to be good at the moment as well, so. Alright. Need a couple more tents in the emergency shelter built, and we should be good. One person's hungry. What the fuck you need? Jesus Christ. I'll do anything for anyone. Um, what does it want me to do? It wants me to build a scout tower, right? So, you can build scout towers out in this area here, for instance, so you can see, uncover these areas, um, and see what else is out there. Um, also means that, like, if you're attacked, you actually kind of get notified what is out there. Um, you can also do it here as well, which is really, really good if you want to help protect the colony. Um, why don't we... Explore out... Build a scout tower there. Alright, what have we got here? Alright, so that's 250 science points is done. Okay, brilliant. So, what that also means... Uh, we can now spend money on the tech tree. We can build a guard post. Um, I actually think, like, the guard post is not a bad thing for us to have because that gets us closer to this. That's a requirement. Oh, and having outposts on the map's not bad either. Increase work slots. Nurses is good because that increases stuff in the medical tents. Healing speed's quicker. Uh, what do we have in community? Bunk beds, which means we can upgrade that, which eh, don't think we need at the moment. Water pipes. So we can build water towers. Okay. So infrastructure is actually kind of important because it's going to 
help give us electricity. Resources is good because, yeah, maintenance demo depot, which is good. Means contamination within the work area as well, so we can start putting stuff around contaminated areas and that will fix it. I love how crowbars increases production speed, like... Um... Yeah. We need the guard post. I think that's the first one we want to research. The warehouse will come in handy and we'll put the warehouse here when we need it. Uh, how are you getting along? Five hours left. Uh, yeah, five hours left for both of you. Okay. Not not in real life, it's in game time, five hours. Alright, let's speed it up. Alright, so we have 20 water, which is good. 143 food, which is really good as well. So we're good for food and water for a bit. Um... Wood is starting to run a little lowish, but we can get away with starting to build a logging place over here because we won't build a trapper over here. Colonies are under attack. What the fuck? Ah, uh, shit. I mean, good. Why do you hate me, no? Oh yeah, because they absolutely look like spies, you know, rat beetles. Send them back in. Sending my specialist out there because he's going to be in combat. We've made a new discovery. Fucking hurry up, back in. We're going to lose the specialist. Um, uh, yeah, well, he's actually, no, he should be fine, maybe. Oh, for fuck's sake, okay. The first signs of a pandemic are upon us. At first, it's just a cough, but then the fever picks up. People start dropping like flies, and the colony grinds to a halt. Now it's a question of how quickly you react. Several staff medical facilities can nullify it almost completely, but if left unchecked, it spreads like wildfire. Pandemics come as a wave, infecting colonists. Untreated colonists will die eventually. The disease dehydrates body, increasing colony water consumption. Build enough medical facilities and treat the infected gather antibiotics to speed up the healing process. As I said, this game sucks. Specialist killed. Yep, specialist port is dead. Well, it would have been better if we had more people to be able to help defend the fucking colony, but hey, guess what? We're not doing that now, are we? I blame you guys. Because I can't send anyone else. I can only send specialists. It would have been nice if we had more specialists, but hey, guess what? I couldn't send more because I had to send other people out. This is why we need to build the guard tower.
Yeah, the game doesn't work that way. I wish it did. Yes. All right. No, what are you doing? Get back in. Moving. Yep. Okay. What's up? Uh, no, I need the scavenger to help yep. fight. Uh, this is not good. This is really not good. Uh, we need both of them to help fight this. Information sunlight homeopathy. I don't need those. Uh, we need to build another medical tent. We need to kill the carcasses and we need to get rid of them. That's also food resources for us if we do this as well. I think I can turn the alarm off. So if I don't turn it off then they're never going to um... They're never going to start building stuff, which we kind of need. Alright, so the first big environmental issue we've got is we've got the pandemic arriving in 10 hours. Um, so we need that medical shelter up. We need... Yeah, I know. We do need to fix that. It's starting. Here we go. Just injured. Alright. Luckily that this can hold two patients at the same time. Otherwise we would be fucked. We do have medical resources as well. That tower's destroyed. That's fine. The pain, but it is what it is. Um, as long as we have this available, it should be fine. Uh, where is... Well, let's not go over this way because there's fucking bugs over there. Uh, yeah, people are gonna get sick, but I kind of need that resource. I don't have uh, the ability to build shit at the moment. But yeah, as you can see, this game can snowball pretty badly at times. This one's still manageable for now, but we'll see what happens when the uh, catastrophe hits. Yeah, of course. It's always my fault. Uh, what do we want to research? I can't send more than one person because I didn't have anyone else. Um, that's fine. Like I don't mind that he died. I killed half of them anyways. Um, to, uh, uh, nurses is actually going to really help. 
No, I'm kind of okay with that because, yeah. A lone bandit scouting the area around the colony saw his opportunity and grabbed one of the colonists that was scavenging a good Baka. distance from the colony center. I can't attack him. I don't have the resources to attack him. The last time I polled, you guys go against my decision and slowed production down by at least three days. Why do I want to listen to you? <laughs> Yeah, we'll pull it. Never said that. Uh, attacking, I'm not attacking. Simple as that. We can't attack. If we attack, we lose. And I, I kind of actually want to play this game for like more than like an hour and a half. Because as much as I love you guys, I kind of also want to enjoy the game as well. I know you guys are enjoying it, but I also want to enjoy it by, like, playing it some way of the ways that I want to. But yeah, there's the poll. I definitely don't have resources to attack. Because the only ones that can attack the bandits would be the people at the gate, the guard tower is not built, and specialists. Yeah, it looks like we're calling the bluff. Alright. Ending it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright. Calling the bluff it is. Should have just fucking paid. We picked up clothing. That's why I sent the scout out to do was to pick up fucking clothing. We had plenty of fucking clothing we could have done. Now I've got I've got an infected person with a fucking pandemic about to hit me. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Oh, everyone's fucking upset too. Oh fun. No, nah, it really isn't. This, that's one of the worst fucking outcomes. I'm glad you're happy with it. Here we go. What are we fucking- we're missing fucking plastic, because of course we are. Can I build another one? Thinking, can I build another one? I probably need another fucking tent. Good, they're building it. Thank Christ. Um... Well, only two colonists are infected at the moment. Let's see how badly this comes.
Let's see how this goes. Uh, wandering merchant. A van approaches the gate, squeaking and creaking under the heavy load inside. Uh, greetings. May I interest you in some fine goods? He shouts and opens the back of his van to show a varied collection of items. Oh, okay. 188 science is good. <laughs> Smash. Um, but it is quite a bit of meat. Oh, actually, we're pretty good with food. Yeah. We should be pretty good. Yeah, we're 134. Yeah, we should be good. Only one person's infected now. So, hopefully we can... Three colonists are infected. Yep. And it's spreading. Come on, nurses. Because if we get nurses, then we can assign more work to them so we can treat people quicker. We've made a new discovery. Uh, do, 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 what am I doing? Alright. Okay. Okay. Treat people twice as quick. And... Alright, tech tree. Since we picked up that 500, um, healing speed would be really good since we're in a pandemic. We need that. Yep, because another one gets infected. How's our supplies looking? Uh. Not great. Not great. Yeah, we're, we're surviving the pandemic at the moment. Nah, not yet. Infections have started and rapidly starting. Three now infected. Mm, I can't build it, I don't have enough plastic. So I need 34 berries and I'll need that soon. <laughs> You're such a cruel person. Why are you mean to me? What have I done to you? Yep, back to three infected. Taking ages later, heal. That does help. What kind of artwork of Hush are we getting? Is Hush dead? Wow. Uh, guard post is operational though. Good. You're lucky I love you, Noel. Alright, two more colonists infected. Water is fucking low. Uh, we need to build another water. Collect them. Four colonists are infected. Shit. Come on. We can get through this.
Come on, medical training. That's absolutely going to help us. 20% faster will absolutely help. Five. We've made a new discovery. Okay. What else can we do? Um, guard patrols, that's fine. Frontier, we don't need at the moment. What do we want? Like, food is good for the moment. Resources might be interesting. Because an advanced scrap of wood, that's reclaimable materials, right? That would actually be really good if we had that. Because um, we get metal, and that increases what buildings we can create. Uh, a centralized repair, so like a maintenance depot would not be a bad thing, considering that we do have an exploding pollution place. <laughs> On the positive side, it's only four. Three. This has been built. Yep, so it's been built, so that will fix the water situation as well. Which will be good. We've got plenty of food. Build that next. Oh, play who you want to play. It doesn't worry about the party composition. Alrighty. We've passed the pandemic. No one died. Alright. Good. Good. Awesome, we just need to, the, the, those two colonists just need to do what they need to do. Um, basic tools would be good, but we still need a scout, which we don't have. We can't go there until we scout this area out. Um, so, we've got plenty of water now. Ooh, ghost touch. <laughs> Taxidermy hush. Um, so guard post there is good. I feel like I do want to put a guard outpost here. That is medium pollution shit there too. That's that's bloody annoying. Uh, we do find metal scrap though, which is nice. Now. Now it's just all about getting metal too. <laughs> okay. Well, we survived that first scare. Uh, I do want to build another recycler because honestly the amount of production we're getting out of this is not good enough. We need it to be better. We've made a new discovery. We've reached a milestone. Okay. It would be very interesting to watch. Alright, let's go metal scraping. Oh, scrapper. We need that. That's going to be very good. 
Because that gives us metal. Um. Hmm. So we can put this here, for instance, right? Which is where I was thinking of putting it. And that keeps everything here repaired. If that explodes, for instance, or something happens. How did you injure yourself, Sebastian? Fucking like... Um, that's actually quite important to have. Because that keeps everything here repaired. Um, we do need to send people out because I do want that. So we are going to send... Huh? You're going to be sent to the world map. Go out and explore. I mean, the overall happiness is still where it is, so we're kind of okay there. I still want it to be higher. Okay. Alright, get some tools for us please, because that's going to help with everything else we're doing. <laughs> Morbid, yet fascin but fascinatingly beautiful. Um, Do I build another guard tower out here? Is the question. Or do we dare make the expanse out here? Have a look at this side and get attacked from this side. Eh. Uh, who in the colony is not working actually? Uh, thirteen adults, six children, five out of twenty-four shelter space, twelve workers, one carriers. Yeah, we've got a lot. Uh, where is that? That's there, yeah, as we still have that. Uh, I do need to start building something for this area here for wood. I have a feeling we're going to need it shortly. Let me double check. Build the lumber yard. Got that little fucking thing there though. That's going to be annoying to fucking deal with. I'm recovering. <laughs> Get the head pets up. Yeah. Thank you for head pets. So yeah, it's it's on cooldown for the moment. Same with the um hot sauce, it's on cooldown for a little bit. It will be back up. Um I can put it here. We've reached a milestone. Oh, we've got a kid. Emily was born. How about no Scott? <laughs> Metal scavenging. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I know. I actually watched it literally only like a month ago. That's why it's still fresh in my head. Uh, what else do we have available? So we have a scrapper. Um...
Did indeed. Did indeed nuke the fucking shitters. This was the thing. Hmm. Ah, oh, literally can't have anything around it? Oh, fuck me. Uh, well hopefully we can get rid of these trees and then we can build the scrapper. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got my VODs on YouTube. And laugh at me there. <laughs> Hey, maintenance depot is up and running. Good. Where the fuck were you when the sky just rained down hellfire on me? <laughs> um, no free carriers left. You need them to carry resources, build and repair. Yeah, I know. I don't have the ability to do that at the moment because I need resources for fucking everything. I need more fucking survivors so I can... F and people so I can actually get people to do shit. Hey, so you're done with your, your work? Hells yeah. You can't go out there, can you? No. You can scout, though. Okay. I'm gonna need a scout. Oh, jeez. I wonder what happened the last time I tried to get more people in. Nine hundred fucking uh, coins. I don't have that. No. Listen to chat. They said it'll be fun. They said. This is why you don't listen to your mods, kids. Who the fuck made you mod? Ah, oh, fuck. That was my fault, wasn't it? <laughs> um. Right, this would be really good. I need 900 coin, which I don't fucking have. I'm close to getting there. 605. So two thirds of the way there. Because having a fighter absolutely would be good, because if we do get raided, then he helps frontline it. Two thirds. It's more than half. And considering that you start with like. 50. I've got 600. I, ha I have to. Again, like, only specialists can fight. Only specialists can fight. You cannot send colonists to fight. You're not allowed to send colonists to fight. You must only send specialists to fight. I'm right by the gate. Now, it's not an excuse, it's the limitations of the game. Is there a way for me to m earn more money? Build the gate. Here's box at five. I do want to scout this area because I can scout this area and they're a friendly colony. I can trade for coins so I can hire him. That would be really good if I could. That one absolutely is on me. I should have scouted earlier, but I didn't. Um, Advanced scrapper would be good. Advanced recycler is actually more important. Uh, we need to build a warehouse.
A little comfy, little cozy. You need to return to colony straight away, straight away. Come back to the colony straight away. I think we're good. All right, sweet. Ooh. Okay, let's fix and repair. still working on that okay good okay good 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 that was close demolish a ruin um yeah I'll get to that guard tower actually also helped there because it means that people had weapons they can protect the colony, but I can't send them out to fight. They can protect the colony, but they can't... They can only defend via a guard tower or a scout tower. From what I understand. How do I determine... I kind of do need to do that when I expand out a bit more, but there are more pressing things that I also kind of need to do to keep the colony happy. Like, I don't have people. That's the thing. I might have to decline this person. No, you kind of do, because otherwise they leave. If they leave, it's just the same as them dying. It makes shit worse, because I don't have people available. Um... Okay. What I might do... Um, on a sign. I free up one carrier. And I'll free these two up. Because we are not in a pandemic anymore. So I'll have availability there. Which will help. Yeah, that would be interesting, so that gives me time to be able to get people to carry stuff. It means we should be able to get them to build start building resources, which would be good. So yes, that's being built now. Fantastic. This has been built now. Fantastic. So that's going to give us much more wood resource because we're running low on it. Uh, the trash evaluation will be good because that will make this an advanced one, um, which means we should get double the plastic output now. Then once we do that, we can have the scraper. I don't think we'll be able to have him on board. I'm going to have to decline. Because we're not going to have money available and we have to wait four days for a new specialist. We've made a new discovery. Um, 
move work area. So the work area is going to be down here. There are survivors at the gate. Oh, speaking about survivors. No, that's fine. I, I didn't have a choice. I wasn't going to be able to recruit them in time. A ragged bunch shuffled slowly towards the gate. I have to. Five elders. No. The supplies that they're offering compared to the people. It's not because they're a bunch of freeloaders. There's five elders and elders can't work. Elders are too old to work, which also means that they are likely to die shortly, which means, and we do not have a burial pit ready, which is the other thing I need to fucking get ready soon as well. Um, and the supplies that they're offering for one child, for one adult and two children is not good. Like, I have to reject them, sorry. Like, we don't have, not for this. We don't have the ability to accept them. It's, a, it's, it's one of those decisions I don't like doing, but I have to for the sake of the colony. It's it's not worth us doing that. It's too much of a risk on our end. Um, I do... That's fine, because if, if the trees run out, that's fine. Because then uh, what I'm going to be building next will be a forester. So therefore I can rebuild the trees here so it's a renewable source. Um, and we did get the advanced, um, which is good. We got the advanced. Now, the next one, I don't think there's anything we can get for 50, so we need to find more resource points. Okay. But in saying that, we should be able to upgrade. Yes, we go to an advanced recycler. And now that we have an advanced recycler, that gives us more plastics, which is good. We need more plastics because we need to build a lot more shit. Um, now that's happening, we want to build... Where is my forester? Okay, once we clear out some more trees here, then I can build my forester here. Uh, which will be good, because then that just means I can start replanting um, saplings to build more trees to make it a renewable source. So wherever I'm doing this here, I can rebuild the trees here. And constantly, like, between these two should be okay. Or even over here, if I, like, make build it over here, even though there are outhouses over here. But we should be okay with that. The scrapper, like, I do want to build the scrapper here. Oh, because we also have berries here as well. Actually, what I might do is I might get rid of the berries first. We need room there for the scrapper. Okay. So we move that back to where it was. And now we get uh, 18 instead of, I think it was like 12. So not exactly twice as much, but like an extra 50%. Which is still good. It, it still gives us more plastic than what we were earning. Um, how is our scout going? Reporting in. Uh, 11 hours left. Okay. Cool. Um, I might take a quick pause. Uh, go to the bathroom. We might go for another, like, half an hour to an hour at most. Um... And then, yeah, see what other catastrophic disasters are going to land. But, yeah, it's been a couple of hours since we last took a break. So it is time to take a break, stretch legs, uh, go to the bathroom, get whatever drinks that you need for the rest of the night. And then, yeah, we'll be close to finishing up shortly. But didn't want to necessarily end it just here. Didn't want to continue for a little bit more. Oh, exactly. That's plenty. Of, like, even half an hour is plenty of time for things to go to hell. So, yeah, with that, I'm going to play some music. 
and I'll be back in a couple minutes. See you soon. Alrighty, and I am back. Alrighty. Let's see exactly what the heck is going to go wrong here. In the next... I'm th calling... I'm probably going to call in about half an hour. Let's be honest. It is getting fairly late. I'm hoping we can get scout the new area out. Hopefully we can find, like, the what who the new neighbours are. <laughs> no probs. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Uh, we'll speed it up a little bit as well. Like, this is the furthest I've gone through this game, so I've played, like, the first two hours. Um... Oh, there are berries here too. Hmm, hang on, let me get the workplace. Yep. <clears throat> that way I can clear the area down here as well for the forester. Alright, so we need more wood. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's worth it. <clears throat> Alright, scouting's almost done. 
Um. So scrapper is good. We put it there. Okay. So we can build the scrapper, which is really good. Scout is done. Uh, medicine is really good. Medicine is amazingly good. Um, wood, firewood is okay. Science points is good, but we do have, uh, well, that doesn't look promising. Hmm. Hmm. Get the medicine returned back, and then we can go look for that. These, this one, I don't really care too much about because we're gonna have plenty of wood anyways. I'm just worried if I go too close to their colony and they're not good, then I lose my best scavenger. Uh, food is now becoming slightly problematic. Not a hundred percent, but we are starting to go down in some now, so. Uh, what do we want to do about that? I mean, we can bring, build a fishery, which is something I have been thinking of doing. Something unusual has been found in the forest surrounding the colony. A wagon is piled deep into the woods. The windows covered with tarp. There are footprints around the vehicle, but they can't be tracked. There could be something valuable inside, but opening the wagon is not without risk. I mean, I'm tempted to search the wagon, but arm the colonists. The thing is, is that who would... <sighs> I mean, why would there be a wagon? I don't like about this shit, leave it alone? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely search the wagon, but on the colonists, or don't open the wagon. Like, it could be good. But definitely sounds like it could be trapped. Especially if you can't track the, the footprints. <laughs> it, it does look like that, so yeah, we're... I agree. Minus 10 happiness from the colony, but that's okay. Yeah, the wagon must have had an owner and after all and is now driven off. That's okay. It's fine. We do need to be careful. As, as much as I would love to have done that, I think that could have turned out terribly for us. Uh, let's get a fishery going, because that will help build the food resources back up. Alrighty, we have a scrapper. Let us get some metal going. Um, I'm thinking now, do I want to send my scientist out? I will. All right. Move it. Because that research could be very helpful because that's 233, so that'll get me close to 300. So that'll be three upgrades that we can get. Well, close to three upgrades. Oh, because some would be 75, so it could potentially be three upgrades. 
that is fine. I know we are working towards that. That's the next thing is I want to get rid of these if we can. So we can start expanding the colony out properly. Without fear. But there's not much we can do about them at the moment. We just have to live with them. We do also want to potentially... That's fine. That's why we have the medical facilities. Oh, that's warm as well. I need to probably build a fire pit out here because during winter these do not operate unless there is a burner nearby. Um, I only got five firewood. How much does this burn? Four firewood every 24. So yeah, we got 15 already in storage there, which is good. If we need to, we can convert wood into firewood um, through uh, a logging camp. Turns wood into firewood. So very essential during winter storms. Um, which actually thinking about that might be really helpful. Hmm, let me think, let me think, let me think. Forestow is really good too though. Like, Forestow is really good. I can build the Forester first. Yeah, we'll do that first. What are you missing? Uh -huh. Oh, your equipment's low. That's fine. So, Forest is really good, and then, like, this will probably explode. This might be caught in the crossfire. Uh, should be fixed when that's there anyways. That's okay. Um, we do need more goddamn settlers. We're running out of all this sort of stuff that's available. I might decommission this for now. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, this is this is unassigned at the moment um, because it's not required. And then if I need more, then I can open this back up to have requirements. That way I still have people available to do things. Yeah, so we have a fishing tier. Um, I can probably drop this one back as well. Yeah. This food is starting to get down dangerously low. Um, so we need more resources. And metal is good for trading, so we do want metal. Um, so I want to keep at least one metal, one wood. Um, I don't want to... Sorry, also half cleaning my room at the moment. Don't want to open the forester yet. The firewood will only open if we need firewood, like if we know a winter storm's coming. Oh, I'm at 700. Metal, which is 700 coin, which is nice. And still, plastic is still fairly low. Um, what have we got? Um, yeah, I'll take one day, 15, uh, three hours left only, that's really nice. We are going to need more clothing soon as well, clothing starting to become a problem with only 22. 
Warehouse is good. Do we have gas? Hmm. Because if we had gas, I'd absolutely create a firework launcher in the middle of the, the, the commune. Ooh, a scrap tiger statue. Okay, we're going for the scrap tiger statue. Because that can be the centerpiece of the colony. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you so much for your work. Okay. Um, so with that, the tech tree, let's see what else we can expand upon. Um, frontier outpost would be good because ah, oh, toilets would be good too, because then we just need to increase our water output, which is not too bad. We've got pretty good water output at the moment, and that just means that I can get rid of the outhouses and expand west. The Frontier Outpost does sound good. What else do we have, though? So, bunk beds would be good. It does decrease happiness. Education is actually really important because it means that when they become an adult, their work output increases. Water pipes is good because it increases water requirements. Oh, okay. Hmm. This might be what we need. But Skinning will also help. Does it turn stuff into fiber? Okay. Um, there's a lot that we can do. Uh, bunk beds and education, though, I think is the first. Because uh, farming would be good. Farming helps solve the food problem. Because we have... We have stuff on the left that is good irrigated areas or good stuff. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Uh, no. Nah. Oh, yeah. Let's research that. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the plan. Is because not only because we have the trapper that's available, so therefore we can get meat, but we can also skin the animals for fiber, and the fiber we can then build into clothing. We need more research points, though. We need a ton more research points. Alright, so we have a Forester. Um, we are going to deactivate this because we do not need it at the moment. Because I need more colonists. Food is still a problem. Why is food still a problem? that's waiting for a worker that's why I think do we actually need this open at the moment maybe not do we need the medical facility open at the moment? <laughs> what do we not need open at the moment is the question now. So I can have more workers work on other things. Um, I 
Yeah, that's the thing. As soon as something happens, I'm going to regret it. Um, I do want to open something else because, yeah, we're, we're slowly draining food, um, which is terrible. We need to fix that ASAP. Um... Tiger statue. That's gonna fix the food problem. Can't be hungry if you're staring at the tiger statue. Um, do I want to set up? trying to think if I can probably set another wood one up here, right? Another trapper up here. Yeah, because it's only two, it's two production irregardless, but the efficiency does help. Because we're not going to touch this area, so 81% efficiency is not bad. So we can probably build another one here. Yeah, we'll do that. I think that's gonna help. Um Yep. Can't do that. Yep, so you're on your way still, fair enough. Um pet tree. Alright, so we can upgrade that. Basic farming we need to do, I think. We need that as well. Need to become an egalitarian society. Build shit over here. Even though there's an outpost, we need to build shit over here. Well, I mean, that's building shit too, but not the way that I want it to. Clipping that, I thought that was funny. <laughs> I made myself laugh, I'm building it. I'm clipping it. Um, so yeah, so that will help because that's a nice tiger statue. It's a nice tiger statue is going to make people happy. You're not going to make a lot of people happy, but. Oh, no, it's all good. I, I know you're, you're busy doing that. That's all good. Yeah, because that's a forest star, which is good. Uh, oh, crap, I didn't... Did I build the wrong thing? I built the wrong thing, didn't I? Oh, son of a bitch. The logging camp I wanted. Not the forest star, it was the logging camp. That's okay, well, I can still build it, right? No, there's a bush in the way. Of course there is. Hopefully we have no winter storm. Watch a winter storm just roll in. Ah, Uberus. Um. Well, at least that's getting built, which is good. Plastics are now coming along really nicely. Uh, well, Colonist Logan has mutated. Alright, well, what the fuck has high contamination? Nothing, I've been keeping everything fucking low contamination. So he probably got it while he's just working because there is high contamination around the areas where we're collecting stuff, but the colony itself does not have contamination. Alright, that's good to know. I was worried that potentially the colony was contaminated. Because if that's the case, God, that is... You can't fix that cleanly. 
That takes ages to fix. I've got plenty of wood now, which is good. Only thing concerned now is we need food. And burn it down, start it again. Yep. Ah, I see we're doing the null approach. <laughs> Hey, the plastic, one of the plastic deposits is gone. There's underground plastics. Ew, interesting. Uh, you need an excavator for that. You cannot use that, I do not believe. Um, metal scrap is good. Is there anything I can build with the metal scrap? I don't think I've, I've learnt to build anything with metal yet. I'm gonna put a bush. I'm gonna make some bushes. Make it look nice. I feel like I can. There we go. We've made a new discovery. All right. So we've learnt farming. Brilliant. Small field. Um. Right next to the goddamn outhouse, though. That's the problem. Oh, a small field here is perfect. Oh, oh, brilliant. Uh, well, no, there's a. Mm, 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 mm. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, efficiency is 100%. If I put it here, like, efficiency is like 95% here, which is far away from that. Actually, what if I put it like here, for instance? Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay, brilliant. Well, we'll build the field there. And the field doesn't require any construction resources. Because it's bowing. That's good, because that's going to help with the food problem. Alright, so the only thing that the, the, everyone's complaining about at the moment is the shelter quality, which I get. Uh, eight more hours and then all the medicine comes back, which is good, because... Um, what I need to do, actually, um, what resources do we have here? 62 firewood. Ooh, actually no, 5 firewood, 62 wood. Okay. The only thing I think I will allow in here is firewood. Everything should be in. I'll allow fun box. Uh, the everything else should be in the warehouse. So we need to start putting all that stuff, all this stuff here, in the warehouse. We have bandits at the gate. Oh, who have we got? I have a car. These people have clearly been through a lot. They look frail and are likely easy to overpower. But the look on their faces makes it clear they're desperate enough to do anything.
Food's the one thing. Oh, I mean, we've just built the farm, so... I'm happy to give them some food, because they said that they're desperate. They might launch an attack, even though we might be able to easily overpower them. Um, they might take out, or they might be infected people. I'd say we can give them the food. It's fine. Because we, we have an ability to bring back food now, so... Hey, 300 coins. Which is good, just in case, because we have another um, specialist coming in one day. If we find the... Um, if we find the person, then we get to have him join us. Um, what are we going to do? Grow. We're going to grow. This is quicker to grow. They're more resilient. I'd say we go potatoes. we're starting to get our food back up now anyways now that we built the other trap the trapper which is good i wish there was an option to have those colonists join us if there was like four adults it's like hey you're hungry cool come in we'll give you food but you gotta work here oh shit remember how i said that i need firewood well, we desperately fucking need this now. We are now on crunch time. We need to get uh, a couple of things going now. Uh, we need a burner. This is now priority. Um, what else do we need? Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. We need firewood, we need firewood, we need firewood, we need firewood, we need to build. Uh, a logging camp. Not exactly where I wanted to build it, but we have no choice. We must build this here, and this needs to be next. Not everybody is equally skilled in the art of building. Oh, for fuck's sake. One of the colonists seems extraordinarily bad at it. His tent looks like it could collapse at any moment as the poorly sewed tarps slowly rip apart. Regardless, the colonist insists he knows what he's doing there. Yeah, improve the tent. Not while we have a winter storm coming. We need to... We need to get firewood going ASAP. Um... The reason why I need the burner here is because this needs, uh, food is going to become a big problem as well now. Shit. Clothing as well. Um... We might be in trouble. We might be in big trouble. How are we going to deal with this? The 
positive side is that I was right with the potatoes because potatoes do not get affected by the cold snap because they're grown underground they're fine to be harvested in winter hence why like vodka in like in Russian areas like potatoes are one of the, the top uh, vegetable resources um they're protected Yeah, you can see the, the trees are slowly dying. Okay. Um, I don't have any other explorers out. I do. Uh, you need to come back, like, immediately. Good. You finished scavenging. Awesome. Cool. You okay. need to get back ASAP. You need to get back in. Ah, uh, this is firewood, though, isn't it? Oh. Sorry, can't do that. Oh. 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 That's lucky. How may I help? Not going to happen. It is. On the next turn it is. You're going to help get firewood for the for the colony, because you kinda need to. Waiting for a free builder. Come on, get this pit ready. Um, got a tech tree. We got seventy-one. Not much we can do, is there? Yep. Okay. Yeah, no problem at all. Thank you again for hanging out. Really do appreciate it. I'm almost done here. We're going to see how winter treats us. And then I'll call it a night as well. Again, thank you so much for the emotes. Thank you for hanging out. Hope your artwork is going really well. Uh, pretty sure we'll chat uh, maybe tomorrow night, if not the, the night after on Discord as always. Hopefully I don't kill everyone. <laughs> Come on, get it working. Yes, good. Let's get firewood going. <laughs> That's fair enough. I understand that. Yeah, I'm going to be helping my um, partner out with their learner's license for our car loan. Because it looks like that they all need a license as well for a joint loan. So, I've been helping like her out with that. So, she is freaking out because she's like, I don't think I can remember anything. So, I had a bit of a chat with her on my first break on the stream. And I said, no, you got it. You'll be good. So, yeah. Been helping her out with that. So, fingers crossed that's all good. But, yeah. We'll, we'll probably chat that on Wednesday, because, yeah, Tuesday I might be <laughs> busy with that, so. Exactly. She can always take it again. She's she's worried, it's like, oh, the, the loan won't get approved, and they, they'll probably reject us for the loan. I'm like, no, they won't. We just need to, like, show them that we are going to do it, and it'll be fine. Exactly. It's not going to be the end of the world. It'll all work itself out. No societies have been found. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Catch you later. Oh, scavenger. Good attack as well. Scavenger. Oh, they're really good.
Alrighty. We need firewood. Catch that up, bay. We need firewood. Oh, this is going to make me tense. We don't have good clothing either. Um, this can shut down for the meantime. This can shut down for the meantime. This can shut down for the meantime. This can shut down for- oh no, the logging camp we need. We need two people in the logging camp. So on the positive side, them working out here means that they're not going to be affected. They're still like a day away from getting any form of firewood for us. We just need to keep the food supply, the water up. We're not going to harvest now. We're going to harvest the potatoes when we're running low on food. But the big thing is getting firewood available. That's the very key thing that we need. Um... We should be okay. So long as we, we play this smart. Uh, we're going to unassign the guard post as well for the moment. Uh, this works out well. I do not want to allocate it anywhere at the moment. So we're not going to have wood active for a while. Because we're just going to burn the wood resources that we have at the moment to keep the colony heated. So, happiness is kind of okay. Oh, what was that? Good, we're producing. Yeah, we need workers. Come on. We need people to start working on this. K. 
Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Annoying that it only produces two, but it gives us stuff. How many of you picked up? 26 every 12 hours. 34 firewood. You come back. Aborting mission. Sounds good. Return to the colony. I'm gonna shut this down. Do I shut this down for now? Oh, I could send the other scavenger out, couldn't I? Yeah, of course. Come on, you go out scouting for more wood. An old bear, humongous in size, but limping as if injured. Was he? Oh. Oh. Hey. What's up? We get for being greedy. Check. Yeah, try and help with the firewood situation. If you can, please. Alright, open up both tents. We've got some burning, which is good. Food is okay as well at 75, water is okay at, seven, at 23. We are good for the moment. Okay, irradiated is fine. I think I know what's causing that. Yeah, it's just been... These are contaminated. Annoying. There's not much I can do. Like, I need to... Hey, Stella's joined the colony. Nice. Uh-huh. Not gonna work. It's still too early. We should do. Ah, the potatoes got ruined. That's okay. That's fine. That is all okay.
that is disabled by disaster cool that's fine we should have enough to keep us going now especially in the important areas it should be okay Yeah, we do because yeah the, the scavenger came back um brilliant um nadia came back okay we should be good now we should be okay Get yourselves healed up. Take shifts rotating. Gotta get through winter. Mission complete. What do we have here? Star tracks are easy to follow and lead to a small settlement still under construction. The guards stop the specialist at the entrance. So we aren't letting in new people in. If you're looking for work or supplies, though, we might have a proposition for you. One of our vehicles hasn't returned yet, and we assume the crew's gotten lost somewhere. If you track them down and find out what's going on, you can have a share of the loot they're transporting. Sorry, can't do that. Okay. Come on, this can't last for too much longer. We have plenty of firewood still. We should be okay. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Sorry, I can't accept you. Sorry, not at the moment. pointed out by the guards is empty but upon closer inspection a set of tracks lead to a small clearing with the missing car and its crew please don't hurt us we don't mean any harm our car broke down and we got it into a bit of an accident now we're lost on top of that too a young man with a broken arm explains um draw a map inspect the car survivors get a map and directions back to the town some closer inspection to the car shows that there could be some useful parts there the young man notices take whatever you think you can use the car is bust anyways Ooh. Quest complete. Sounds good. Return to colony with all of that shit, please. I mean, we're slowly making firewood enough to cover how much we have in reserve, which is good. We don't have many more people being sick, which is nice. We have plenty of resources, but we do need to start looking at clothing reserves. are arguing over a rusty metal box which lays on the ground between them. They both claim ownership over the coins inside. 
The man for finding the box and the woman for getting the lock open. There are plenty of coins inside, enough to considerably help the entire colony if need be. Interview the man. The man has asked how he found the box. We were scouting around the perimeter looking for any plants or animals we could use for cooking. I was going through some bushes when I noticed a spot which was unusually clear of vegetation. I dug through it a bit and found the box buried there. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have the coins at all, so I think I deserve 80% of the pot, he explains. The woman has asked how she managed to get the box open. Well, he didn't seem to get anywhere with all the smashing and hammering. I'm quite handy with tools. It took some patience and concentration, but once I got familiar with the mechanisms, I managed to crack the lock. Without me, all we'd have would... Ah, all we'd have would be as a rusted box, so I deserve at least 40% of the coins. Come get one third of the coins, split the rest evenly. Absolutely, that's the easiest decision in the world. One of the more diplomatic colonists steps up and suggests a third of the coins is given to the colony while the pair share the rest evenly. It's like, cool, you found it, fantastic, brilliant, thank you so much. We are going to take some of it, by the way, this is what we call taxes, because the rest of us need it. Um, shit, where are the berry supplies? Oh, he's got more berry supplies, good. Okay. Hopefully we can get past this winter storm. It should hopefully clear up soon. Like we're producing enough firewood. Like that's a that's a positive. My concern is the clothing. No, oh, Emily's irradiated. Oh, the long haul. Alright, we can technically get another specialist. 500 only? For a scientist? Ooh. <sighs> Scientists, I would love a scout. Apologies, as much as I would love to, we, we need a scout. Um... Uh, I probably should get someone exploring elsewhere. We need people exploring. Uh, who do we want to scout out? Ready. Shoot. Hey. What's up? Check. Huh? All right. Get both of them to scout. And this winter storm is not fucking easing. Of course it isn't. Candy bars is interesting. Okay, uh, return to colony. Yes. Oh man, he actually really doesn't take a long time to scout, does he? What's up? Um, I'm gonna send you to the world map again. Scout this area up as well, please. Alexander keeps mutating. 
<laughs> um, cool. Awesome. Um, I might take a safety save here. Um, yeah, that looks correct. That we that way we know what that will look like. Um, we've been doing this for about five and a half hours, so I think this is a good time for us to make a break and to finish up for the night. 